Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale pledged to work with the province, but he issued a statement saying there no federal long gun registry would be reintroduced. Well, let's bring in our political translator on all things Quebec. Commentator Jean Lapierre joins us live in the studio. Nice to have you with us, Jean. Nice to be here. Um, first of all, 20 million max, like not a penny over to start this baby up. Uh, well, the minister <laughs> just told me 17 million max uh -huh. plus 5 million a year. Now, mm -hmm. they're going to register about 1.3 million long guns. Uh, and there are about 500,000 owners in Quebec, mm -hmm. and no fees. Ooh. Yeah, because they say the purpose is really to get people to register, right. and so if you impose a fee, then people won't do it. So they're, they're trying it. But the, the political pressure is so immense. You know, uh, whether it's from all political parties, you saw the press conference with all political parties represented in the National Assembly, so, uh, and the public support is there. And so, and especially a few days before uh, December 6th, the Polytechnic anniversary, obviously uh, the pressure was there. But now, are they going to be able to keep those number, numbers down? I mean, and they have a lot of problem with their information technology contracts already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, it's quite a leap of faith. I'm, I'm curious though also, I mean, Quebec is right there across the river and Ontario doesn't have a gun registry. If you're going to... Uh, buy a gun, you don't want to register, you just come here and take it back home? Well, and, and the, but the police forces are asking for it. You know, they say that it's been useful, they consult it about 300 times a day, and so uh, the government has decided to do it. But, like I say, uh, this, the cost, I mean, we've been so burnt here with the cost of that type of a, of a registry that I wonder if they're going to be able to keep the budget. But as you point out, this is going to uh, probably give the, the government a boost in popularity. This is uh, something all sides agree to, right? Yeah, oh yeah, it's going to be an easy passing for the government. They think it's going to take less than three years to put it in place. Mm -hmm. So uh, we shall see. But uh, there, there's a consensus in Quebec on that one. So, And, uh, but, and, and they won't get any data from, from here. They tried a lot. They went right. even to court. Right. Uh, but the data here is outdated anyway. Right, right, you know, right. It's been so long. It, it, explain to me the Quebec thinking, though. Is it Quebecers really are linked to the Polytechnique massacre? That's the, the, the genesis for all this drive to register guns? Oh, yeah. That's the lobby. That's the lobby. And also, when you compare it to the states, and, you know, like, you know, with all the events of, oh, of the last few days, yeah. yesterday, uh, so people are, are, are really relating to that and say, hey, we're not going to be like the U.S., and that's why that there's that support. But Polytechnique really... Uh, made sure that the, the, the public uh, the public discourse and, and you know everybody's saying the same thing so it's very difficult to resist I can't I can't resist asking you as a mere anglophone it doesn't strike me as a big scandal but the new speaker in the Senate of which probably a lot of people don't have much familiarity with is a unilingual speaker he only speaks English is that gonna cause you to get all excited no. and not angry no because I mean <laughs> I, I don't remember the last time you had the speaker having any an interaction with the public right you know except for scandals right and so uh, obviously it would always be preferable but I don't think anybody will go you know crazy about it because frankly and the Senate has so much to do to have a new credibility that this is not going to be an issue, I don't think. Next to Calgary Mayor Nahid Nenshi, uh, probably the most uh, publicly recognized mayor, well, I guess John Tory in Toronto, mm -hmm. but certainly uh, Denny Coder in Montreal seems to have a populist air about him. Uh, he handled that sewage dump in the St. Lawrence reasonably well, I guess. But mm -hmm. tell us about his car. What's, what's going on there? I know well, Mayor Nenshi drives to work himself. <laughs> but the problem with Denis is that, you know, he's, he's so popular now that he's kind of... You know, he's doing things like uh, surprising people. For example, he hired his former deputy minister, Mr. Doré, who he had when he was immigration minister here, mm -hmm. to welcome the refugees from Syria. 1,800 bucks a day, not a week, not a month. Huh. So that would mean something like $450,000 a Holy year. Delito. So people are pretty outraged about that. And mm -hmm. then today, when you look at the budget of the city, there was a new position open, driver to the mayor. And the budget? Two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so, so Does that include the car being well, bought. Well, out the or guy, not? the guy, the guy in the front seat is going to be paid more than the guy in the back seat. <laughs> and so finally, uh, he's explaining that there's a lot of overtime. He uh, doesn't want to use a blue color from the city because he needs a discreet driver. Yeah, yeah. And but but then he says overtime also for his executive committee and what have you. But the numbers are are starting to be pretty big. I guess it goes with ego. It, 
It sure does. And Danny Coderre does have one of those. All right. Thank you, John. Appreciate Thank you coming you. in for this.